Mona, sir. Mona, why do the both of you crawl into my class? Sir, because you said never in our life we walk into the class. So we decided to crawl in. <laughs> you already know the punishment. On your knees. Excuse me, sir. I promise never to walk into your class late again. Sir, hmm. our father did not come back yesterday, so we decided to know his whereabouts. Stop all those jabbers. Uh -huh. Shut up! If I'm leaving you, it's not because of these flimsy excuses, but because you are the most clever in this class. Now take your seat. Like I was saying, the Greek name for Amber is Electro. What did I say? The Greek name for Amber is Electro. Again? The Greek name for Amber is Electro. Santa, what did I say? The Greek name for Amber is Electro. Good. Let's ask proceed. The Greek. What of the French name for Amber? I am not your French teacher. Uh, but yes, sir, I mean, stand the chance of telling us the French name for that. Ferrere, I am not your French teacher. Sit down. No, the Greek name. Morning, you're up already. Oh, yes. We don't want what happened yesterday to repeat itself. But I told you kids to forget about your father and go to school. You insisted on going to look for him. Now you've seen the consequences now. When our body go rest. Mama, how do you expect us to fail? We have not seen our father for complete two days. So you don't know your father again? We know. Where is he now? Probably he must. You must have gone out as usual. You know my papa. Said it. Gambling, eating and sleeping. That's all he's good at. But I swear, this man, he's not going to kill me in this house. Anyway. He's not going to kill me. Anyway, just put these things together and I'll make your breakfast and then we'll all live together. So, Pepe, are you ready for school now? Yes, Mama. We are about to go. Mom, our principal said he would like to see you concerning our forthcoming school certificate examination. Mama, I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem at all, my son. Mama, I'm not comfortable with your sudden change. I'm all right, my son. Eh? I'm okay. I will see him. I will go to the school and see him. Okay. You're leaving now. Bye-bye. 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 Mama, thank you. Come back home, Elio. Okay, Mom. What is that? From day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, Papa doesn't think about how to work and make money. Nothing like that comes into his mind. 
at all. All he does is to remain stagnant and depend on mama to do everything. You know, you know I pity that woman. I pity her mother. She has taken the whole responsibilities. Look, it is the duty of our father to fend for the family. Can you imagine? He don't even think about his family. He can't even do his work as a man. All he does is to loaf around, drink, gamble. He has a very big problem in this house. Of course. That means we have to tighten up academically. Tighten up? Where is the money to tighten? Don't worry, Santa. We will strive. Don't worry, don't worry. Tighten up. We will strive. That's the only thing we can do. Uh -huh. They say that the I do brain is the devil's workshop. All I'm saying is try and get something doing before something happens. What will happen? You don't know what will happen. I don't know. That's why you should tell me what will happen. Benji. Jim Ben. Why is it that advising you is like pouring water into a basket? Forget the basket. What will happen to the water? The water. You don't know what will happen to the water. I don't know, so you tell me. Penchi. Da! Don't address me that way anymore. My friend, you call me Ogaben. I paid your dowry, my friend. I come go see. Why now, eh? Get something to do. Look for something. I'm afraid something bad might happen. What will eh? happen? We are still running around this. What will happen? Papa. Yes, Mama. Something will happen. Like what? Papa. Mama. Or if you don't find yourself a job and start doing something tangible, this house will. Collapse and fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Even 10 story buildings fall. My friend. WTC, when they bombed it, it fell. So let this one fall. You hear me? I don't care. Imagine. Why did that bring you to this world? Is it not for able to help the family? Eh? Let, it let it fall. But I've, I've accomplished something. I married your mother with money, almost 20,000 naira. Change, I've not even given to me yet. And I took physical exertion to bring two of you into this world. In fact, you almost killed her. We didn't know you people had. One was sneaking out from the right stomach, one from the left. We had to force you out. She almost went to season operation. Let it fall. Nada. Papa. Mama. Does it end in giving beds to children? Yeah, it ends in bedding them. Why not find something to do so that you can train your children? I will explain them, not even train. Me, I have tried my best to. Uh. I've talked to you the way a wife should talk to her husband. Yeah, so it's okay. I'm not causing trouble now. Okay, it's okay. What type of work do you want me to do? Uh, Doctor, engineer, pilot, seven four seven Boeing. There are many things that you will do now. Uh, there is bricklayer, uh, carpenter, even a local. Mm -hmm. uh, even a bus conductor. Yes. Uh, uh, mm. Okay. One. It's no. Even local. Yeah, drag cleaner. Uh, yeah, man. Yes. Bus conductor. Very good. Kite ba baboon unto. Now, get my body on. No, in case I follow on, sir. Unguri, Unkoke, Unguri. Now, man, we'll one by one. Mwa. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry, I will do it. Mm. Okay, thank I will do it. Thank you. I can even attempt the robbery if you want. Mm. Anyway, I've already advised you the way a wife will advise her husband. Oh, God, I have agreed. Okay. What happened there? Ah, wow, well, Susan. Okay, let me uh, go and bring our food so that we can go eat and sleep. Go and prepare it first. Uh, it is still on fire. They're very good to bring. Yeah, man. Carpentry work, you are large enough to make two five by seven beds or cot bed. Okay. <laughs> what time are you going to see? Come on, let me go. Mama, that's not a carpenter. Eh? Because you know, the washerman.